Well guys, I got some bad news. Um, it's not that difficult of a job. I've already looked it up um, and researched on how to do it. And it's a lot easier of a job than when I did the job on that truck uh, last year. Uh, I've actually changed the transmission out on this truck last year. This truck needs a torque converter. The torque converter is bad. I uh, went to town again today, and um, uh, the vibration's back. I ended up getting underneath the truck, checking the um, uh, differential, making sure that the drive shaft back there is not loose. It's not. It's good and tight. But, um, yeah, so I heard a weird noise coming from underneath here when I shut the truck off, and... No. For the longest time, there's always been like a a rough shutdown. So when you turn the key off, it kind of shakes a little bit, and then it shuts off. It Well, it jerks a little bit, and then it shuts off. But there's like a rotating sound coming from underneath there. The only thing I can think of is drive shaft, or not drive shaft, but um, torque converter. So the vibration the um you know sometimes it slips like after i come to a complete stop and i turn uh it slips and then of course you have um i think it's third to fourth gear so third to uh overdrive of course it'll it won't slip but it'll have a hard time going completely into overdrive so it'll try and then it won't and then it'll try and then it won't it'll i guess you can call it slipping i'm not quite sure but it's rather annoying so uh i'm gonna i'm ordering a torque converter for this truck and it should be relatively simple you know you just um undo the drive shaft take it out uh there's six bolts three on one side three on the other then you've got your six um torque converter bolts that you undo uh let's see here then you take your transmission mount off and then you have some things you some electrical connectors you have to disconnect and of course you also have your shifter rod that is connected to it but i mean it's going to be a lot easier than this because um, this has very little room to work with and it's so difficult to get at things whereas this everything's right there it's so easy so even though that's bad news, it's not going to be that difficult of a job. Um, it took me two days to change out the transmission on this. Um, whereas I'm thinking it's probably just going to take me a day. Probably not even a full day. I don't know. I'm, I'm not rushing it. I'm going to take my time. But we'll see how that all turns out. But yep. Uh, so I will be making a video uh highlights i guess you could say i'm not gonna film the whole thing of me turning every bolt that's very boring at least to me it is unless someone you know says to me hey yeah i want to see you turn the every single bolt so i can you know reference video there's tons of videos out there of people working on these trucks um me i'm trying to stand out uh so far i'm the only active uh seven three um bed liner paint job <laughs> that i am trying to keep it as stock as possible but i am adding a bit of a twist to it i do have um something really awesome coming up here in the next couple of weeks um it's kind of in the realm of rock lights but it's not rock lights you're gonna have to stay tuned to actually see where that goes my whole outlook on it is everyone's done rock lights. It's so overdone. But I'm going to do rock lights, but I'm adding my own twist to it. it I haven't seen anyone do it this way yet. You're just going to have to stay tuned to uh, see what happens. It's uh, something I thought of for like at least the last month. So I'm really excited about that. So that plus the uh, torque converter, hopefully I can get that squared away and um get the uh the vibration issue squared away that hopefully will be awesome but yeah once i get those two things done this truck should be pretty much squared away what i have left 
to do on this truck um, for my own happiness, I guess you could say, or my own enjoyment. This is an XL. Um, I don't know a lot of, if a lot of you guys know, but I used to have a Mustang. I had an 03 Mustang GT, and of course with my family expanding, um, we needed more room. Mustang was not practical, and it's not that comfortable in this extended cab, so we needed the crew cab. Um, <clears throat> but this is an XL, so, you know, you've got your manual locks, and you've got your crank windows. I hate it with a passion. So, I'm actually, I've already have the um, door lock actuators in here. So all I need is to run a power source, like run the wires, um, and then connect it to a power source, and I'll have power locks. And I also have power windows once I wire them up. And then, of course, I want to wire up my mirrors. So it'll technically be an XLT, but I'm going to have to wire everything myself. This does not have a vehicle security module or a GEM module. So it's going to have to be some stuff that I researched myself. It's not that hard. I found plenty of schematics online. It's just a matter of me getting the material, getting the the parts that I need to throw this all together. But, um, yeah, I mean, this truck has come a long way. I mean, it, it still has a long, longer way to go. Um, I want to figure out how I can leave this... Um, uh, I can't remember what this is called. I think it's a vinyl flooring. I want to leave this in here, but I also want to get uh, floor mats. But I know if I put regular floor mats in here, it's just going to slide all over the place. So uh, I'm going to have to figure out how I can incorporate some floor mats in here. So, you know, as you can see, I live on gravel every time we're in and out. You know, I can clean this out, make it look really nice. Two or three trips, it already looks like this. So uh, I figure, figure out how to get some floor mats in here. And then when the floor mats get nasty, I can pull them out, power wash them, stick them back in here, and keep the inside looking a lot nicer. But, yeah. Um, I also plan on uh, redoing these front seats. This seat needs to be replaced. Um, that seat over there just needs to be reupholstered. Um and then, of course, this jump seat armrest. Uh, if I can find another jump seat, I'll be happy about changing that out. But there's not a whole lot wrong with this truck. I mean, there's really not. Um, so I'm really just going for uh, aesthetics. I'm trying to make it look uh, or stand out. And for the most part, it does. But... Um, like I said, I've got to change out my torque converter, and then, um, like I said, I've got a, my own twist coming with uh, rock lights, but it's not rock lights. I mean, it's 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 hard for me to explain. I don't want to give it all away. I want to leave the, the mystery there. So, um, yeah, like I said, um, stay tuned. There's always more to come. Um... And thanks for watching. Later, Gators.